days after a reenactment sent live rounds into the halls and classrooms of MSD and lawyers for the parents of several victims are talking about their findings. 7's Nicole Linsalata reports. There is no dispute, none, zero, that the shots were clearly audible to Peterson. And that is what this reenactment Friday hoped to prove, that former school resource officer Scott Peterson, now the target of a civil lawsuit in connection with the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School massacre, could not only hear the gunshots that day, but had to know where they were coming from. Peterson has long argued he did not know where the shots were coming from, and a jury acquitted him of criminal charges months ago. So if the shot was coming from the third floor, you would, you would hear and feel a boom and know instantly that it was coming from the building. The lawyer for several of the victims' families bringing the lawsuit say the reenactment Friday replicated the weapon, the caliber, where the shots were fired, and even what doors were open and shut. It was correlated exactly with Peterson's movements by, to the extent possible, millisecond. This was a, as close to a mirror image reenactment of the shots, the, the killer's movements, and Peterson's as I submit anyone could do. Peterson's own attorney has argued there is no way to replicate the angle of the muzzle of the gun. There's no possible way that, that Scott Peterson didn't hear the, the 70 rounds from an AR-15 uh, when he was just feet away from that building. So although that reenactment was completed last week, it is unclear whether or not the civil jury will actually even hear any of these results. It's still unclear whether or not the judge will allow it to be admitted in court. As for the building, we also don't know yet when it will come down. Reporting in Parkland, Nicole Insalata, 7 News.